we're going to discuss your piss poor attitude about thinking Daisy is some sort of slave labor in the Philippines. Now Daisy and I work together and we do everything together. And as far as Daisy's pay is concerned, she lives a much more comfortable life than most people in America. And I won't get involved with as to where I live and how we live and what we see when we look out our window. But take my word for it. Now, Daisy, do you consider yourself slave labor? No, I did not consider us uh, a yes, yes. slave. Yes. Look at the camera. Yes, come on. You do not, yeah? Yeah, I do. Do not. Yes, come yeah, on, my cat. I do not. Okay, so what we are what we are doing today, Daisy is doing trabajo, which is work. Daisy is brushing off the sand. And I am cutting the wood with a chainsaw because now I have become a human lumber mill in the Philippines. And what I do, Daisy Will you please come here? Come over here. Hold the camera. Just like that. Take your, throw your glove off. Hold the cam, hold, that's it. Just, just like that. Right there. I'm gonna cut. I have to cut right here. Come over here. I have to cut right here. And then I cut one side and then I trim off the other side like a power planer. Okay, so. Just let me get my glove on. I have my earmuffs on. And I'm gonna trim one piece, only one piece. So just hold it, just like that. this has to be done is because these boards come in eight foot six and they leave them together like this so they don't when they're drawing they don't separate and bow like a bow and arrow now they do that anyway if you don't get them dry and flat so the next step is to bring them over here and put them in a in a fashion that they will be flat and Daisy is Daisy is Daisy is knocking the dirt off of them Daisy is knocking the dirt off of them as we go along and then within the next hour all of this will be cut and and then I will mix some paint and paint it so that they will look like this and then they will be stacked flat with weight on top of them and then then and then and then they will be and then they will be and then they will be straight dry and painted so that when I put the form oil on everything the concrete will not stick to this or the plywood that's underneath So this is Michael Fazio and Daisy May in the Philippines telling you what a human lumber mill looks like and why we have to cut the rough sawn lumber a certain way. Oy vey and shalom from Rebel. Hey, Jew Barker in the Philippines, baby.